GSM communication system. Global system for mobile communication is also known as GSM. It is a digital cellular technology which is used for mobile data and voice communication. It is developed by the European Telecommunication Standards Institute to describe the protocols for second generation 2G digital cellular networks. There are various advantages of GSM communication system like we have increased capacity in terms of subscribers from previous generation, we have got good audio quality and of course enhanced range of services with improved security and confidentiality in comparison to its predecessor technology. The agenda for this course is GSM Overview. In this, we will discuss history of cellular technology, the frequency band used, the features of GSM and elements used in this technology. GSM Architecture We will discuss about detailed architecture of GSM and the main network components and their functions like what is BTS, BSC, MSC and various other nodes associated with them. GSM Specification In this, we will learn about modulation used for GSM, then access control technique for efficient usage of bandwidth and then operational frequency band used for uplink and downlink which means from mobile set to BTS and BTS to mobile set respectively. GSM Channel Concept As we know channel in a communication system is used for transmission and reception of voice or data. It is of two types. Physical channel, which is a physical medium over which information is carried. Example, wires. And the other one is logical channel, how information carried over bandwidth. GSM addresses and identifiers. These are used by GSM to help in managing the connection during subscribers' mobility. The various identifiers are IMEI, IMSI, MSISDN, MSRN, LAI, LMSI, TMSI. We will discuss each of them in detail one by one. GSM coding, interleaving, ciphering. In this, we will discuss GSM speech coding that converts analog signal to a good quality digital signal. Channel coding. It adds redundancy bits to the original information in order to detect and correct errors occurred during the transmission. GSM signaling and protocols. Signaling means the transfer of information and the instructions relevant to control and monitor telephony connections. It defines communication between mobile and network. We will discuss various types of signaling used in GSM system. GSM Handover When a mobile device is moving from one sector to another in a connected mode, there is a handover of call between the sectors. It takes place to maintain user connection link quality and manage traffic distribution. GSM Location Update the mobile keeps on informing the MSC about its current location area or whenever it changes from one location area to another. Location update is performed in different scenarios. We will discuss on that also. GSM Operations We will discuss about the cellular telephony, the coverage and capacity, frequency reuse pattern, principle of sectorization and how communication is performed between PSTN to mobile phone and vice versa. Then we will cover GSM user services, in which we will learn about GSM services, tele services, voice call, fax and video text, SMS, barrier services, supplementary services, CUG, number identification, conferencing, call waiting, hold, barring, and forwarding. GSM Security and Inscription It is a main concern of any communication technology to securing conversation, avoiding data interception, avoiding fraud and billing right people. GSM Billing GSM bills its user for following services. Telephony, SMS, GPRS and supplementary services. So be ready to take a deep dive into the first digital communication technology 
that is gsm communication system by subscribing to our youtube channel so what are you waiting for join us for the course and do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon also if you like our videos don't forget to hit the like button and share our videos